Hey everyone, welcome to Mega Man 11 on Switch. Do not turn off Switch when console. Yep, we got that. Hey everyone, hey Dorothy, hey Catherine, hey Irene. Oh, there's an intro right away. Is that Light and Wiley like in college? Light. Holy crap. You build the future on your empty optimism. Say what you Wiley will. sounds so different I in his youth. Agree to this. Please listen. No, you listen to this. At every turn you've ignorantly blocked my Sorry, I didn't research. expect there to be an opening Mr. story Wiley, right away. Control yourself. I see the committee is in agreement. And so the department <laughs> the scientist Thomas on Mike the second from the left looks so sad. With independent thought. Thank you. Hey, Fack. Before they became old and jaded, Why? apparently. Why are you fools so blind? Uh, before I forget, special thanks to Fack. I'm pretty sure you gifted me this game a while back, and I've been slowly working up to it. Oh, Wiley was having a nightmare. Dreams. Poor Wiley. A genius of my caliber needs sleep to keep his brain in gear. Yeah, special thanks to Fact. Wait. That research from my youth. Yes. They never explained oh, how at the end of Mega Man 10 that he somehow contracted the Roba Nenza, whatever it was called. Thank you for playing our demo. When you start a new game, you'll receive a special item. Oh, I downloaded the demo, but I never played it. I forgot about that. So I guess we get a special item because we had the demo. Awesome. Hey, Monica, what's up? Cool to see you here again. That, that was so confusing. At first I was like, wait a minute, did you gift me a, a demo? And this was all an elaborate prank. But no, we're all good. All right. Um. Oh, would you look at that? The buttons are where they should be. Thank you, Mega Man. Look, they got this shoot is the left button. Jump is the bottom button. They're not making jump A and shoot B just because it's A and B. Thank you. Sorry, that's like a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> When games come from one era to another era and they just slap the same commands on the same letters even though they're in way different positions. Oh, you could just summon the Rush Coil with X now and Rush Jet with A. Interesting. Speed Gear, Power Gear. I'm sure they will... Uh... Oh, you can even uh, put the slide on a button, I guess. And I guess Rapid Shot is turned off for now. I'm sure everything's fine. We could probably just get right into the game. Fact is, I don't remember what that item is. Do you want me to give you the boss order? Um, here's what we'll do. I'm already kind of expecting this one to take a bit longer just because of how it looks. I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit longer than your usual Mega Man game. So I'm thinking we might do this in two streams. Um, you can map the slide to a button, right. So, um, I'm, I'm gonna try to just pick the first boss, just cause I wanna just try to pick the first boss. And then, if I start having issues, or, you know, I just get wrecked, then we can try to maybe get some boss tips. Well, of course we gotta do newcomer. No, of course not. For those who've never played a Mega Man game, imagine starting your first Mega Man game with 11. That'd be pretty crazy. For those who love Mega Man but haven't played in a while. For dedicated Blue Bomber fans who love a real challenge. Only the truest, most hardcore fans need apply. So we're gonna start with normal, cause that's what we do. Would you like the special demo item? You will only receive this item one time. That's very, that's a lot of commitment. Hey Joe Retro, what's up? Cool to see ya. I'll say yes just to see what it is. I'm curious what they give you. 
Monica said I played the hell out of this game. Wait, Thomas Light. I didn't know his his first name was Thomas this whole time. Hmm. All systems nominal. You're in great shape, Block Man. All thanks to you, Doc. You built me rock solid. Well, I can hear the construction yard calling. Block out. <laughs> Good luck out there. Bro, um, how many checkups are Oh, I think I was muted. I, I was just saying that I like how the graphics look. Like, the art style looks really cool. Because I've seen other uh, 3D Mega Man games that they don't... I don't know, they, they don't look quite that nice. But this one looks pretty nice, just right at the start. There's no end to them. Doc, how about giving your favorite assistant a break? I don't need a break, and there's though. voice acting. That's so you crazy to me. Robot, you sure do complain a lot. The last Mega Man game I played with voice here. acting was 8. And the voices oh, were really I funny in that one. Mr. Torchman? What? What on earth? Bro, Otto, hurry to me! Shouldn't they be hiding under auto instead of hiding under light? I mean, he's just a soft human. Doctor, what's going on? Stand back, everyone. I'll handle this. Wow, that is such a weird voice for Mega Man. This is no time for your heroics. I've simply come to give Doctor. I'm used to the really like high-pitched, feminine-sounding uh, Mega Man from Mega Man Eight. You see, I recalled some old research. The very invention you so coldly crushed when we were students together. Why has your memory failed you? Oh, it's funny. Monica had basically the device. opposite reaction as me. It can't be. Well, I guess it's not weird. It's just that's the version that I heard for years. So it kind of threw me off. My design. And now we'll see who was right all along. So of course, same old, same old. Wiley's up to no good. What's the ruckus? Perfect timing. The lot of wait, wait, wait. Excellent test so the bosses... Wow. Who are you calling test so Light actually you made all of these run robots. Run and hide before you get hypnotized. Oh, it's too late. My robots. Over here, Light. That speed. What have you done? Dang it. Nobody blocks Block Man. Nobody Those blocks Block Man. <laughs> I have a better idea. At last, the world will bow down to the genius of Dr. Wily. <laughs> yeah, the 2.5D art style. It, it looks really nice, honestly. Doctor, it looks really clean. I'll go after Wily. Wait, Mega Man. Wily's invention is called the Double Gear System. It's designed to push robots. Yeah, I always thought Mega Man was kind of a kid too. And the man was just kind of a completed it. I don't know, like an empowerment title. Cause Spider Man, the whole thing is that he was he was like a teenager. He was like fourteen when Spider Man first, you know, became Spider Man. But when he had the mask on, it was like he was a, a grown up, like a superhero. That's kind of, I this kind of felt the, the same way about Mega Man. Though this is Mega Man 11, so maybe he's just older now. Circuits, you may be able to stop him. Oh, he was doing maintenance on them. Gear places great strain on robot systems. I can take it, Doctor. I want to do this, no matter the cost. Hook me up! As you wish. The installation will take some time. There's a lot of work to do. The double gear mechanism. The double gear system is fully installed. Mega Man? <laughs> robot University. Yeah, I applied for Ro Robot University, but they didn't accept me, unfortunately. Your old pal Otto is here to help out. Mega Man. That dirty Wily won't know what hit him. Even Mega Roll Man sounds older. Doing a noble thing. Be careful out there. Doctor. Roll. Auto. MIT. Be back soon. Uh, yeah, I guess we should. 
Press R to activate speed gear, L to activate power gear. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, this is Mega Man, alright. It feels just like it. Oh, look, we can slide. Wow, slowing down time is actually pretty sick. And then power gear. I guess we can't do that one yet. Oh, Charger Buster. Whoops. I'm a little confused about how the gear system works. I guess you have to wait for the red line to run out so you can use it again. That's like the... That's when it's overheated. I think I get the idea. Double gear technique? Is it something else? No, that's just the same thing. Wait, is it? Oh, L and R. There's no canceling it after it finishes, your Mega Buster will be weakened. Oh, okay, so you can only shoot once in a while after you overheat. Interesting. This is interesting because this brings like a new mechanic without it like just completely changing up the game too much. It seems like it fits pretty well. So normally if you do that then you could turn it off and it won't be overheated. Gotcha. Alright. Oh, here we go. We're on the screen. And uh, there's arrows to the left and right. I wonder what that is exactly. Uh, if you let the gears overheat, you have to wait for the meter to fully drain. Gotcha. I guess usually you would expect the other way, where when it runs out, the meter's empty. And then it goes up. But I, I see what it is. It's like showing you that it's overheated. Um, Monica said, my favorite Robot Master theme of all time is in this game. I love Fuse Man's theme song, but Torchman and Blast Man, favorite levels. Alright, so I gotta go with my same strategy. And usually I would go with the, the silliest, goofiest uh, Robot Master. But... Bounce Man is kind of up there, a little goofy. But I kind of feel like Block Man might be the one. Because Blockman was featured heavily in the intro compared to all the other ones. Which makes you think you're either going to want to fight him first or last. So why don't we go for Blockman? He's even in the top left corner. Let's go ahead and do that. Wow, look at that background. This looks really nice. So I still need to figure out if I want to use the joystick or the d-pad for uh for this because i've said this before but i'm not like a huge fan of i'm not a huge fan of this pro controller's d-pad but um it feels okay here so far i think for mega man the way it plays it might it might just work for me here oh wait maybe i want to jump on that or something uh, there we go I was wondering why they would have an enemy that's just easily avoided, unless there was something else to it. Maybe the only wrong choice for the first stage is Torch Man. Oh, really? Yeah, this feels really good already. This feels just like Mega Man. Which is what you want, for sure. The slide is the only thing that feels slightly different. And I think it's just because you have those extra frames of animation of him like getting up and down. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just that just makes it feel a little different. Oh, you can keep continuously sliding though. That's good. I wonder if there was a secret up there. It doesn't look like it though. 
Um, Monica learned that the hard way. The animation's great, background, voice, music, wonderful gameplay skills. Yeah, I agree. The game looks fantastic so far, and it feels good. So far, I'm really digging this. Whoops. Jumped right into that. And then the music is just... It's gotta be good, because Mega Man music is always good. Only a little safe spot down here. Oh! That was an accident. And he's gone. <laughs> oh, this is a familiar looking character. This kind of looks like a boss version of a normal Mega Man enemy from like a previous game. I'm kind of goofing right now, but... Oh god. I just realized I have my gears I should probably be using too. Whoops. Not right now. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh no, we gotta start it from the beginning. That was probably the checkpoint right there. They still love putting the checkpoints after the mini bosses instead of right before them. It's like the creator of Mega Man insisted, like he left a note, like whatever you do, always put the checkpoints after the mini boss. Not before. I'm surprised they respawned that bolt. Monica says, I like Mega Man 11 because everything feels alive. In Torchman's level, check out the background. Uh, there's Mets in the background enjoying a bonfire. Yeah, everything already feels alive so far. Feels, feels very good. Like, there's... I think it's easy to kind of get lazy with, like, a 2D, 3D cell shaded design. And they've definitely not done that here. The one thing I'll have to get used to is um, because of the extra detail, it's go it's going to be a little hard for me to like avoid hazards. I feel like because it's not instantly obvious to my subconscious, but. We're gonna try. They don't drop health very often, I noticed that right away. But a lot of Mega Man games are like that. I think that was some health actually right there. That fell into the pit. Alright, let's try this again. So now, let me try to utilize my powers a bit, my new powers. Which I'm sure will be important. Oh, like right here. Perfect example. There we go. I'll have to remember to utilize those more, because clearly that's gonna help. Um, check out the background in the mini boss room, speaking of backgrounds. Oh yeah, look at this. Even this is pretty detailed. There's hieroglyphics. You can see the enemies we've been fighting so far. Blockman's in there. So I guess Blockman is sort of like, it's supposed to be like an Egyptian style thing. And then just all the shading and the lighting. Look at like the, you can see the dust floating particles in the lights. Very nice. Whoops. I could have used him to get up there. I still can. Up. Or I could just use Rush. What was the button for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Good old Rush. I wonder if those blocks are destructible if we have a certain weapon.
Whoops. Oh, you know what? The whole point of this guy is that you could slow down time to time it easier, huh? That's like the whole point. They're really encouraging you to use the time stop on that guy. I didn't even think about that. I just thought, oh, that's just that strict timing. <laughs> Even like these blocks, you could slow down time to make the blocks fall more slowly. Whoa! Okay. Here we can slow down time if we need it. Oh. Oh god. This is pretty cool. It's a fun idea. I need to remember that, because my brain kind of has this old school mentality where if something's really hard, instead of thinking, oh, there must be a way to deal with this better, my brain's just like, oh, it's just hard and we have to just deal with it. <laughs> That's usually what my brain comes to, the first conclusion. Oh no, the internet's, your internet's dying? Hopefully it stops doing that. Oh god, that time stop is so cool. Oh god. You know what? Time stop would work well there. Oh! I didn't think you were going to come back. That kind of caught me off guard there. Load up. Boom. Alright, let's try this again. And I fell. <laughs> oh no! I keep forgetting about everything. Alright. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. I just didn't want to get hit by that guy. So I was being like overly cautious. Oh, health. Okay, I think here's another time we'll want to use this just so we could get up the ladder. There we go. Boom. Boom. There we go. Cool. Wow, that is so cool. You'd think that'd just be like a power you have to un unlock. Uh, it's just lagging a lot for me. It was real bad the other night. I think the storm sweeping up the east coast has been throwing a wrench into things. Oh, sorry to, to hear that. I hope it, uh, I hope that clears up for you. Oh god. Wow, an inch away from falling off the stage. The fact that those were flashing made me a little paranoid. Too bad Mega Man can't duck. Mega Man's two weaknesses. He can't duck and he can't shoot up. It's very, very famous. Certain weapons sh shoot up passively, but he can't aim up, unfortunately. Wily literally would just have to build a, a robot that you have to shoot up to hit, and then Mega Man would fail. That would be it. That would be the end of Mega Man's career, basically. Oh, we're pretty low on health. Oh, what was that special item we got, actually? Oh, wow, we just start off with three E-Tanks. No kidding. Um, three E-Tanks. Parts. I don't know what it is they... Maybe they just give us three E-Tanks. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to look that up, what it is that we got from having the demo. Um, they made it so if you're grounded on a platform and get hit, you won't fly off. 
Oh, wow. Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to exit. We used up a knee tank. Oh, well. How many lives do we have, actually? Uh, the reason I did that is because I was just playing the PS4 version, and I hit what would be circle to get out of the menu. Um... Where am I? Oh, they're down on the left. Okay, we do have one life left, so... Oh! That's supposed to be a one-up, isn't it? I've never seen a one-up yet, so I, I didn't... There was no precedent set for me. And of course there was health right there. Oh, so they did give you E-Tanks for playing the demo. That's kind of a weird reward, to be honest. Oh, he straight up stole an actual one up. That's messed up. It's not there anymore. That, that almost feels akin to like, like a pre-order bonus where you just unlock characters that you would have unlocked by just playing the game. That stuff was always kind of weird to me. It's like, for me, half the fun of playing certain games, like especially like fighting games, is unlocking other characters. So, when they just make it a pre-order bonus, that's not a bonus for me. For me, that's taking away some of the game's content by just giving it away. That's how I was about the, uh, the Samurai's Edge in Resident Evil 2 Remake 2. Ooh, this again. Okay, there's an E-Tank. You can make up for the one we lost. And I see what you're supposed to do here, too. Ooh. Oh god. The timing on that is, uh... Um, neat. Me too, besides Mario games and Sonic games. Missed what that was referenced to, but... Those are good games. We're gonna get this E-Tank. We probably could just use Rush Jet or Coil, but I wanna try to do the platform trick here if possible. There we go. There we go, that kinda makes up for the E-Tank we used by accident. Probably hard to think something to give away for free for Mega Man. They ended up giving away free piano remixes for pre-orders. Oh, that's cool. Music is definitely a cool bonus. I don't mind if it's... Well, here's the thing. It, it's kind of a mixed bag. Because on one hand, an exclusive, like, costume or whatever would be fine. At the same time, it kind of sucks because then you have no chance to get it if you've never pre-ordered it. So I can understand why they tend to give away stuff that's in-game anyways. But I don't know. It's kind of a pick your poison, I guess. It's like, do you want it to be completely exclusive and then you can never have the chance to get it again? Or do you want it to be something that you could just get in the game anyways so it's like you're having that reward taken away from you? Damn it. I should probably start- oh, we're on our last life too. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm gonna try to really concentrate here. That guy takes a million hits. Oh, I should have slowed down time the first time I saw him. It's not exclusive. They ended up giving it away for free like a year later. You can nab them on the eShop for free. Maybe a timed exclusive is a good middle ground for that. Wait, what? My guy... Got stunned, that was kind of weird. I gotta be more careful. <laughs> you know what? I might even uh, 
resort to trying to get some a little more health just to be extra careful. Yeah, I was right, because we're already 30 minutes in, and we're not done with the first boss yet. So I, we're probably going to end up doing this in two streams. You guys got a little bit of health for me? Just a little, little bit of health. Ooh, that's even better. I gotta say, the one-ups are a little... A little much. Like the giant 3D glowing heads. I don't know, it's a, it's a little funny to me. It's like a Mega Man artifact. You know what? I'll just continue on because we have that one up now. So we should be good. Oh, there we go. There's a health I needed, the last one. There we go. So you won't get stunned by the falling stuff. Whoops. if you jump first. Uh, only thing about this game's pre-release marketing I'm still salty about is how they showed off skins for Mega Man in one of the early trailers. I wanted to play as BN or SF Mega Man. Something, Street Fighter I'm guessing is a second one, BN. What's Capcom that's BN? I feel like that acronym's very obvious, but I can't think of what it is. Battle Network, okay. There you go. Yeah, I never played those ones, so I guess that wasn't really on my mind. Ouch. Okay, that- Oh, damn it! I was waiting for that block to fall, but I forgot that it fell from the right, so now we're down to zero lives again. Okay, we really don't want to die because we, we, this level's kind of, these levels are a little longer, so we don't want to have to start from the beginning, of course. Yeah, we got really lucky with that one up and then we, we, uh, we squandered it. You can buy item power-ups, upgrades of lives once you complete a mission. Well, once I complete a mission, that's fine, but the fact, you know, having to start the mission off in the middle of a mission, that's like the main thing I'm worried about. Star Force. Oh, I thought you said Street Fighter. I thought it was going to be like Mega Man in a little Ryu outfit. Okay, let's be more careful here. It's a little it's a little confusing because there's so many things falling and they're not pixels. So my brain has a bit harder time comprehending them. <laughs> okay. And the debris isn't super clear. Okay, so that middle one's gonna fall towards the right, and then I can jump on it. Oh. And then we can jump to the left. Oh, it's gonna fall right here, isn't it? Damn it. Okay. So. Ah. Damn it! No! <sighs> okay, I need to really think about this. Um... I think we just want to have the slow motion for that part. So let's get over here. And then... Second one drops. 
Once we get to that middle platform on the top, we should be more safe. Okay, I think I have an idea of what to do. Oh no! Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, I freaking hit my head. Oh. See, I couldn't see that platform was gonna be right there, so I didn't realize I had like no room. Darn it. Well, there goes 30 minutes. Okay, let's try to speed through this. Oh, I'm already almost dying. We're gonna try to speed run. Alright, come on. Should grab that up oh, dropped health anyways. Oh, didn't climb down fast. Could also be I maybe didn't pick the best level to start off on because I just did pick Black Man based on my silly strategy of how I pick bosses. I guess we'll see when we come to him. Alright, that went a little bit a lot faster. Uh, we could use those healths, actually. Uh, later on you get an upgrade that makes Mega Man move at a regular speed while using the speed gear, and I go back and forth on whether or not that's a good thing. Um, that's a good question, because they're kind of getting us used to how it is right now. Oh, wait. <laughs> Almost destroyed my platform. Oh god! No! I went too fast! Oh! I wasn't... I wasn't expecting that because it usually falls, I guess, farther to your right. But I... because I was rushing. Damn it. I was like, is something falling on top of me? And then it was too late. Those maze block sections are too funny when you have the boss's weakness. back to is this where oh no this is no this is a previous room it's just very similar to the one that we died on Okay, at least we saved ourselves. I, I started just 
rushing again when I shouldn't have been. Oh boy, I got lucky there. I gotta remember those blocks that fall right there. I think we're getting close to back to where we were. I think we just need to fight like one more uh, mini boss and then we're basically where we were. Hey Kiko, how's it going? Didn't get the notification, huh? Yeah, I heard that one before. Oh, I thought I wasn't going to make that jump for a second. Eleven does a lot of introducing concepts early, like this falling block room, and then iterating it throughout the level. That That's like Mega Man for you. How is it so far? Are you using the slowdown, etc.? Oh, yeah. No, I'm enjoying it a lot. Oh, God. Oh, why didn't he have the one up, like, before? That's... I got ripped off. The very first time I came to this guy, he had a one up that he took away. And now I die, I, like, game over. And he didn't have it this time. No, yeah, I'm enjoying this game a lot so far. I, I, I screwed up, though. I got pretty far into the level, I think, and then I died. So, can't really show my face around here anymore. Alright, we are back to where we were when we game over, though. Items disappear once you acquire them or lose them. Yeah, but usually when you when you game over, everything would get reset, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it they? That's generally how it would work. If you overclock, then you you have you uh you just have to wait for the meter to build back up again. Yeah, wow! Even the E tank that was up there is no longer there. Even when you game over, they don't return. Really? That's rough. So if you get all the E tanks that are available already, and you just use them all, and you're just stuck and you haven't even beaten any of the levels, let's say, then you just can never get those E tanks again. That seems like like, the, uh, even the older Mega Man games don't do that. Let's try this. Don't hit your head. There we go. So now we can safely charge right here. Yeah, see, I'm waiting for my slowdown to come back now. I keep feeling like something's gonna fall on me because the debris goes through the spot it's actually gonna land. I think that's one of the things that's, that's screwing me up on this screen, to be honest. Okay, so now we could clearly see where they're falling. Okay, we did it. Just keep feeling like a block's gonna fall and hit me. Wow, look at that background, that's pretty sick. I guess we're inside of a big pyramid.
I don't trust those empty pits. I just feel like something's gonna show up. Uh, you would just need to go to the shop and buy them. If, I think the screws are the exception, so players are having a hard time can grind those. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, not every Mega Man game has a store, so I guess that's why my I was kind of confused about that at first. Well, good thing I didn't need that. Still mess up that the one up that the guy takes away. Wow, look at the background. All right, we made it to the boss. Did you tell me something about how like you couldn't slide through the doors at first? And so they had to patch that in because people were mad about that. I would be too, because you gotta slide through the doors. I'm Blockman! Ouch. Um. Oh! Okay! <laughs> Jesus! This is like a yellow devil fight, suddenly. Oh lord. Can I go like under? Nope. Not really. Didn't expect this. Oh, we did it! Is he actually defeated? Nope! Still has some health left. Ouch. Oh no, this is some... Airman crap. Oh, you can break them though. Damn it! So close. Damn, that part's tough. Oh, this is our last life. We better beat him this time. Okay. They didn't patch it in. Mega Man always goes into his walk cycle through the boss doors. Oh, did he? Let me see. Oh, I see what you mean. He kind of just stops the slide after a while. If I can just save my health and stuff for this next form, this should help a bit. Exactly sure about the methods to avoiding these attacks. Oh, maybe they take a few hits. Damn it, he's like. Oh, I didn't realize it was gonna do that much damage. Damn it, I would have used an E tank. Oh, now we have to do the level again. Sorry, guys. God, I am really failing right now. Ah, oh. I thought I had way more health than that. Like, I didn't think he was going to be able to kill me in one hit from what I had. Damn it. Yeah, let's just forget about that. Uh, you can slide under his legs. I, I did slide under his legs, but he still hurt me. Damn, that really sucks. You should play an easier stage. It doesn't... I don't think this stage is necessarily hard. I've just... I'm just doing a little poorly right now. Oh, that's good. God, I wish I had that earlier. All right. 
right, come on. God, I wish that were me. I'm not sure what you're referring to there, Kiko. Get, see if I didn't get crushed by that and like waste a life from in the last round, I think we might have just beat the boss after the fact. Cause I would have just used my um E tanks like extra carefully. Wait. Wow, I think our blast like stunned him actually. Oh, damn it. I don't know what happened. I wasn't looking and I just fell suddenly. Or I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Something happened. Oh, the platform. Yeah, I, I thought I was still on the ladder. I think my brain. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I used the wrong thing. That's fine, just get up there. <sighs> Don't forget you have the power gear as well. Yeah, I haven't really figured out how to utilize that one yet. Cause like I'll, I'll obviously for all the platforming stuff, that's not really gonna help too much. But uh, I guess we'll see. And then we don't want to do the double thing because um, then we'll run out and we'll have like no blaster for the to actually hurt the boss with. Charge power gear shots will actually damage bosses when they would otherwise be invulnerable. Oh, really? Maybe that'll be good for that last form then, because we I had a really hard time catching up to him. Yeah, that last part. The, the thing is, I think I need to slow time on that part. Because of uh, the, the blocks are flying at you so quickly. It really feels, it almost feels like Airman fight, except like worse. Because the screen is like extra long. That's Use your power gear to increase the damage output on the boss weapons. Pretty sure speedrunners use well-timed power gear charge shots to skip the entire second phase. Really? Well, I could go for it. Ah! I just need to get past this room. I, I don't like this room. There's too much stuff going on. Left of this, then we jump here, slow down. Don't hit your head. Don't hit your head, okay. 
Charge it up. Wait for it. Okay. Block's gonna fall. Slow down. There we go. Okay, here we go again. Um, we have three lives this time, so we better not <laughs> game over this time. That'll be very, very bad. All right, I'll, I'll try using the power. I haven't been using it, so that's why I'm kind of like hesitant. But uh, we'll try it. We'll try it out on that second form. Because yeah, his first form is, is like nothing really. Especially with the. Uh, whoops, we don't want to do that yet. He would have landed right on my head if he was above me. Okay, so this. I'm gonna go ahead and. Wait, wait. Whoops, I didn't do that right. It didn't, like, do more damage at all, actually. Damn. And I, like... There goes all my health again right away. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. And, you know, I'm just gonna E-tank it. I, I shot... I had the power on, and I did the charge shot, and it... It almost seemed like it did less damage than... A normal charge shot. I don't know why. What happened with that? We're just gonna tank him. Come on. Come on. There we go. Jesus. Okay, God, it took an hour to do one boss. Hopefully that isn't a, uh, a recurring thing. Uh, you didn't use power, you slowed down time. I think, I thought I had the power on. I don't think you fully charged the charge shot. They also play around with this health in the second phase to make him extra beefy. Oh, we got a new thing. Oh, wow. Wow, that's awesome. It doesn't do that many blocks every time, is it? We have like super mode on or something? There we go. Okay. Wow, that's cool. Can I have like all the gears off, please? I want to see what it looks like normally, you know? There we go. Okay. That's a pretty cool ability, actually. I like that. I also like that Mega Man has more aesthetic changes than just the color being different. Alright, cool. Um, so I'm just going to straight up look up the who we should fight next. Because, uh, yeah, we don't want to go experimenting. So apparently we're supposed to fight Acid Man next. So... Acid. Oh, right next on the list. Hollow if you want to know the weakness. Okay. Yeah, I guess I could just ask you guys and that'll save some time. Okay. 
Let's... Hopefully this next level won't take an hour. Oh, I thought those were health. They tricked me. I just use Rush Jet at this point? I assume the green will kill me because it's acid. Okay, hang on. Uh... Oh, I don't have Rush Jet. Huh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know. I have an, a power. Whoops. Not that one. Whoops. Not that one. There we go. Okay. Wow, so what the heck if you don't... Okay, well at least it didn't kill me instantly. Still, that was weird. No! Oh, okay. Uh, no, I could see that they turned the water to acid, but I thought that when it was yellow it was already bad. So I was confused about... Like, does the yellow also hurt you? That's what I'm not sure about. Because that's why I was waiting. And then it turned red, and I was like, okay, now I can't jump on it for sure. And then it turned green. <laughs> Whoa, we're like in an airlock or something. Okay, those are spikes. We can only get that help from this. Yeah, let's not touch those spikes if we can help it. Just gotta be careful here. Oh god! The speed up when you jump. Oh yeah, it does seem like your blood, your your uh. Charge shot stuns enemies. Sniper Joe. Um. Yellow and red also hurt you, but it just. Oh, it gets more acidic. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, see, it's already yellow there. There's health in the water, but I don't know if that's worth grabbing. Actually, I guess the red, like, it doesn't hurt you. I guess it shouldn't hurt you, or else you would have, like, no chance to not take damage in that first part. Unless you have, like, a certain item or something. Let me, let me see. Yeah. Oh, what the? There's another poison guy. Uh, fully charged shots on shielded enemies stun them. Yeah, it's- it, it's- it, I understand what they're going for now. I think they're just kind of warning you, like, oh, it's about to get bad. But when you first see yellow water, it seems like that'll hurt you. And then when you see red water, you're like, okay, for sure that's gonna hurt me. And then by the time you've waited, it's actually turned into the, the one thing that it does hurt you. So it's a kind of a strange tell. Oh no, in my opinion. I shouldn't have held right. Yeah, the spikes are always evil in Mega Man. That's just... That's just Mega Man. It's like you might as well just avoid these damn spiders. Because they're just going to explode into a bunch of smaller spiders. Is it bad that I actually miss when the health would freeze time and, and heal you? I don't know why, I'm just so used to that. 
even though it was likely a limitation at the time. Okay, I think Fully Charged Blast actually s stops them from becoming... Oh yeah, that one spike down there. I, either I avoided that by chance, or I just didn't even notice it. Like, without thinking. You know what you could do though? Take damage, and then be extra safe. It's always a good technique for spikes. Alright, um... That's not too hard to get. I think? Is there like some catch here? As far as I can tell. Boom. Yeah. They made it like look really scary, but it's just it's just there. And we can't see what's below us now. Ooh, okay, so we want to go to the r right under the spikes. Yeah, I can see how Mega Man being slow is better for this kind of stage. So if there's an upgrade that makes him not slow anymore, when you slow down, then yeah, that would definitely be a detriment in that specific, uh, I didn't mean to call you Rush, sorry about that. Oh, we don't want those around. Oh, they're invincible now. <laughs> This is a weird boss. I'm not exactly sure where his weak point is. Oh. Okay. It's just sometimes he's invulnerable, I guess. I guess the pink ones you really want to kill because they become invincible. You can even still hurt him when he's like that. can't even get mad, he chose minions that don't drop items for his boss fight. That's just being smart on his part. Alright, good thing we got through that. Uh, they give you the power to slow down time and Jay's over here pining for the days of old hardware limitations. Well, I was slowing down time, wasn't I? Oh, you're talking about uh, <laughs> when they would stop to uh, fill up your health, yeah. I can't help it. It's just sad. I guess it's just you become conditioned of like when you really need help, and then boom, the like the game freezes for a second and your health fills up. That's probably what it is. Whoops. It looks like Gatorade or something. Just don't let it become green Gatorade. Apparently, green Gatorade will kill you. Oh no! Now it's all poison. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna destroy him. Damn, there we go. You can only hit him when he's jumping. Just throttle the speed gear every time you pick up health, easy. <laughs> oh. You jerk. Oh, Sniper Joe, you added some more Proto Man techniques to your arsenal. Now you, you shoot while you jump sometimes. Hey Didier, haven't been able to tune in lately because of Cyberpunk. Well, no worries. I know it just came out and it's a big title. So, I don't blame you. 
I hope you didn't get it for the PS4 though. Apparently that's been having a lot of problems. Wait, is that gonna kill me? It is! Ah! I was like, oh, I'll be safe up here on the platform. But by the time I realized that it was too late. I think they did that on purpose. Or I just wasn't paying attention. Oh. Okay. Come on, Jay, get your head in the game. We don't want a repeat of the first level. They're not gonna make me fight the mini boss again, are they? No, okay. For a second I thought we were dropping to that part. I always like follow it right in too. <laughs> you know, you don't really jump into it though. Like you don't have to jump into it and it's not that hard to not jump into it. So maybe I just shouldn't even bother. Don't forget about your block powers. Can you, can you use the blocks to create platforms? Now that would be pretty cool. Um, I gotta go. I'll be watching Page Master movie. All right, no problem, Dorothy. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. Okay. I always, I always forget to use my uh, extra powers when I'm just in the middle of stages. I don't know why. Okay. Um. Damn, this part. Ugh, because we need to land on it and then just like immediately jump, I guess. Oh, of course we freaking missed it by like a split second. Come on, Jay, we don't want to redo this level. We have to get that part. That is a rough room. to play like this is your last life because it almost is that's fine we'll just ignore that but now we can try to get health from these guys Poor baby spiders have a custom animation of dying in acid. That's pretty messed up, Capcom. Or whoever designed this game. Alright, come on. I have one possible thing that- no, that won't help. I was thinking Rush, but he would just bounce me into the spikes above. Alright, we might as well try just to see. Yeah, that won't create platforms. Damn, that would be really cool if it did. You know what? That wasn't that bad, actually. I just was panicking. Oh, I didn't realize he was going to stop so short. I'm just trying to get health back. Okay, we didn't get it, but that's fine. More spikes, oh boy. 
They really like putting spikes in, in uh, areas where there's uh, affected platforming gravity. In-house by Capcom, that's cool. I wonder if my rock power would work. Oh no, I should say that for the boss. We can't afford to be using that. Oh, I just feel like he's gonna hit me and then I'm gonna fall or I'm gonna jump and try to hit him and fall. They turn so, that same type of enemy's been in like every Mega Man game, but he turns so quickly in this one. There we go. All its tiniest things freaking, that's gonna kill me. That's gonna kill you. Oh God. Oh God. Jesus, I almost stayed on that wheel. That is so, oh, that's so evil. Having the wheels just spin you into the spikes. Oh, really? See, it's like you need to know what to do here from the start. All right, let me think about this. This seems like one of those things where you're just gonna die the first time until you figure out the way you wanna drop into the Like, I don't know if I should slide or if that'll make me hit the... Here's my here's my worry here. It looks like, the way it's built, it looks like you wanna slide so you can make the horizontal distance. Cause it looks like if you jump, you might just hit your head and then you won't make the distance. But if you slide, you might hit that first spike. So, Hey, hey, sword. When are we gonna get a game with Mega Fish? I'm bored of man. Time for fish. Uh, someday. Uh, I guess we can just. There we go. Okay. Slowing down time saved us there, for sure. Okay, uh... No! Ugh, I thought for sure I was dead. A, a pixel more and I would have not made that. I for sure thought I didn't jump enough. Good lord. Oh boy. I hope we're almost at the boss, because... Oh, thank god. We are at the boss. And looks like we're gonna have to use an E-Tank. How many lives do we have? We have the one life, we have two E-Tanks. It might be better to just... Go in without using an E-Tank and just try to figure the boss out. Like just try to, to see how it works. Um. Still forgetting the power gear is a thing every and then though. I don't think I've used the power gear at, at all. <laughs> uh, okay, we're just gonna go in. We're gonna go in like this and we're gonna die, but hopefully we'll have a little bit of an understanding of the boss patterns. What is he, a JoJo character? Okay. Okay, we gotta make his shield go away. Ouch, okay. All right, that's okay. Now we, we do really have to beat him now though. And we have to use, we have his weakness, whoops. We have his weakness and we have two E-tanks. We should be able to do this. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, that works really good. Very, very good against him. Gotta make sure he's not invulnerable when I use it though. Oh, that's different. Oops, I think I could take one more hit. He okay, I used it all. 
I don't think I quite understood that second form because he was probably just invincible that whole time and I shouldn't have been using it. That's probably what it was. Okay, I'm gonna use any tank. I don't wanna risk it. Oh, what, what? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I like hit. I hit the triggers by accident, like constantly. Okay, we did it. Thank God. And we didn't have to use the second E tank. All right, that was a marked improvement from the first level. We did that three times, or rather, we did that in one third of the time. Pretty cool. Wow, so you just have a shield? Press the attack button to generate an acid barrier and incoming shots. That's amazing. I'm assuming it constantly drains. And then you can shoot faster when you're in power mode, okay. I'll definitely remember that. Um, has he figured out that you can switch weapons with a button shortcut instead of going to the menu? Yeah, because in, in the GameCube Mega Man Anniversary Collection, which is the one that I had growing up, you, you could switch quick swap with the L and R button, so I'm already well aware of that. Um, all right. Next up, Impact Man, apparently. So, I forgot to ask you guys. All right, Impact Man. For those of you who know how long the game is, tell me when would be a good time to stop so we can have a good length for the second stream. Like, I don't know if there's like more bosses after the first A or if the Wily section is particularly long or whatever it is. This looks a lot like Gutsman's. Wait, let me check something. I have zero lives. So I need to do... I need to game over on purpose right now. Game over on purpose. Should I should I save manually by the way? Uh, probably after the fifth ro fifth robot master stage. Wily Castle is unfortunately short. Oh, I'm not against a short Wily Castle because uh, some Wily Castles go on really long, and those are usually the hardest levels. So, um. Is there like a save? I'm assuming the game auto saves. Uh, a rain, uh, I'll probably stream around two to three hours. That's generally how long my streams go. I try to do at least two hours, sometimes around. Uh, oh, they run out after a while. That makes sense. Um, I think around three hours is like my average. Uh, kill two more RMs, then you can beat the rest of the game in a second stream. Wily Castle's two levels and two mini levels. Oh, that is pretty short, actually. You can save in between levels. All right, I'll make, I'll make sure to save next time. Because, uh, we don't want the game crashing like what happened in Castlevania. God, that was... That was a nightmare come true. We did push through and beat the game, which I wasn't going to do at first, but... You know, people stuck around, so I did it. Oh God, I can't believe- it took me an hour to beat Dracula. I cannot believe it took me an hour to beat Dracula. And it's weird because people in chat 
and even people online, I looked it up, everyone says that the death boss fight in Castlevania 1 is is the hardest, and the, the Dracula is way easier. But it took me like three times longer to beat Dracula than death. So I don't know if I just didn't have Dracula's strategy down well or what it is, because I... Like, don't get me wrong, death was definitely definitely hard, but I didn't have nearly as much trouble than uh, with Dracula. Okay, wait, what was that? Just an empty room? There must have been something in there that we missed. What the heck hit me? That was weird. This game is looks too detailed, so it, it gives me that uh, that tunnel vision sometimes. Mega Man 11 is not an emulated NES title. That's true. Molten Floor hit me. Oh god! This is one of those vertical stages, which uh, in Mega Man 1 in particular, the vertical stages could be kind of rough. Looks like those little blocks, like you could do something with them, but I don't know. Those guys have a lot of health. You came back to life! Why did you come back to life? Oh, I could use that health. By the way, Impact Man is unique as three robots make Impact Man. In that empty room, Impact Man was attacking you. He was? I didn't notice any attacks happening. How the heck did I miss that? What are they like the Oingo Boingo brothers of of uh, robot ro robot map? Oh, that's what hurt me. Okay, it's like a tiny bit of molten lava on the ground. That's what you meant. Gotcha. This look. Hmm. Whenever I see like differently colored blocks, it makes me think: Can this be destroyed with something? I'm not trusting platforms to not bring me to my doom anymore. Not after the the spike ceiling. If you slow down time, you'll see it. Wait, do we go down? Something went weird with the empty room. I don't know what happened there. Impact Man is the little drill licking robots that dash through the environment at you with arrows painting their path. So something was supposed to happen in that empty room? Oh, th oh, this is Impact Man? That's funny. I just assumed it was like, drills, I guess. I have like no health left. Oh, you know what, I just remembered I have like, slow down and stuff. I should probably be using this. Especially because I have one block left. Oh, we're at the boss. No, we're not. Mini boss. Which means we're gonna have to restart this fight in a second. Okay. Wow, that's different. This is the empty room. Maybe it's just uh, the checkpoint area or something. Right, now I can see that that little robot makes the little patches of lava. Of lava. Ouch. This dude. I'm gonna vote him as one of the more annoying Mega Man enemies. He, his range is just crazy. Oh, you know what? Slow down. Fine.
There we go. Do it again. Mega Man finally got Hammer Bros. Or met Hammer Bros. Uh... Oh yeah, you're right. I get what you're saying. Yeah, because the Hammer Bros in Super Mario Bros. 1 is by far the worst enemy in the entire game. They're just... It just feels like complete RNG, which I'm sure it probably isn't, or maybe you can manipulate them in some way, but it sure doesn't feel like it. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. It's nice of them to have those arrows that show you which direction they're going to be going. Now maybe we can fight this boss properly. This is interesting, like the fact that he's like using his 3D as part of the attack. Oh wait, where, where do I go? Can I jump on him? No. Huh. Uh. What is going on here? We're gonna die again. Damn. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to deal with that boss. Because he puts you in a corner and then you can't jump over him and you can't go under him. Hmm. Damn it. We don't want to have to restart this level again. Sorry about that. OBS just took a crap. But I think we're reconnected now. Alright. Uh, block weapon is very good against him since you could get around the claw. Use the block man weapon to beat him up faster. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll, tr I'll try to use the block weapon and then hopefully we won't. Oh, those things actually hurt you. That makes sense, they're electrified. Ooh. Oh, we don't need any more health. Power gear absolutely melts mini bosses. I'll try. I feel like I, I still don't have quite a handle on the power gear yet. I know it's I like never use it, but like let me. Tr let me let me try it with the hammer guy. Let's see. Hang on. It did kill him in one hit, that's nice. Oh, you... There we go. Ah, you... God, their aim is insane. But okay, the normal shots are pretty... Not great, though. Like, you really want to charge it, I guess. Pretty not great. <laughs> Just getting this guy if he drops any health. Because we need all the health we can have. Uh, but where Power Gear shot has recoil. Gotcha. 
Alright. Can you charge the block attack? Whoops, I should have slid under that. The thing is, I'm scared to use the E-Tank for the mini boss, because then I won't have it for the actual boss, and I might need it for the actual boss. Ah, good chance we're going to have to redo the level right now. Um... Alright, we'll try this with the power gear. And hopefully that works. Wow! Okay. Jesus. Well, that was a good tip. Alright, um... Cool. Maybe we'll actually be able to beat the level. Oh, you probably have to switch. I mean, that was really good, for sure. The fact that you don't need to charge up your attack to just do it is pretty, pretty good. Oh, this guy. You know what? Um... How about no? Wow, he even kills him in one hit. On, like, normal. On the base. Now what does that gear do exactly? I'm not really- I haven't really been sure what those things do. Oh god. I'm lucky it moved the way it moved. I'm not gonna grab that stuff because I don't- Now that is worth grabbing. You- Nope, I just go away. Oh, okay. Hang on to that full health. You can buy the upgrade from auto that auto splits weapon ammo. Oh yeah, I'll definitely want to get that. Little gears lower your heat. Ah, gotcha. So those are only worth grabbing if you're like overheated. Basically. You know what? Yeah, let's play it safe. There we go. And then um it just <laughs> yeah, that's a really good power just summon a bunch of blocks and just fall on your enemies heads oh boy more spikes Oh yeah, pay attention. Oh! Oh, what the hell? Oh, what do you... What do they expect you to do here? Okay. Oh, oh, oh lord, there's so much they want me to be looking at right now. Damn it! Keep getting hit right there. This is gonna be it. Let me just around. Ah! Maybe we'll make it. Oh, there's an E-Tank up there. Uh, can we get it, though? <sighs> They're still coming through the walls and crap. 
You would want to rush coil off the platform, it looks like. Oh, right, you just, it's different in this game. Damn it. I do have the buttons confused, actually. Okay. There we go. And now, since we're on our last life, it would be best if we used that E-Tank, but now we need to get out of here, that's the thing, so. Oh my god, I thought I was going to fall on the spikes. I don't want to deal with you, dude. There we go. I can use that health. I knew it, there must be some way to destroy these blocks. But we just don't have the ability yet. Or maybe that's just how it's supposed to look. <sighs> yeah, I like that it doesn't use the rush ammo until you jump on it either. That's, all, that's how the classic ones work too. The only difference is you would go into rush mode and then you hit the button to summon him. But this one, it has its own dedicated button. Oh, there's no way to destroy those blocks? Okay. Oh, what the... I swear that first one just sucker punched me. Jesus, give me a break. I missed them all. We don't want to get hit by that. We're in our last life. Last life. Oh, there's the boss door, though. So... Let's just... Wait, wait. I don't know the... I don't know... No! Ah, I'm so stupid. I was trying to figure out my button to switch back. Sorry. I'm like spazzing out here. I just wanted to go back to my Mega Buster so I could shoot the rocket and then go get that health, but... Now we don't get full health. Ah, <sighs> okay. It's okay. We have no lives. One E tank, almost full health. Uh, the weakness. We should be able to do this. I recommend learning the right stick for weapon swapping. Oh yeah. Although, how do you go back to your Mega Buster? Because that's, okay, you click it. That's good. Okay, so just click the right button at any time. And you're back to your Mega Bust. Okay. Good to know. <sighs> Alright. We're not going to be able to learn how to fight this boss. We just have to go and... Whoops. We just have to go and do it. Alright. It's a bigger one. We'll get a shield, but I don't know how helpful it's going to work. I'm a little, it's weird, because you can't move when you activate it. Ouch, I need to use the tanks. I don't, this, uh, this power is a little weird. Um, because, like, I just want to shoot him, but you, it, like, you, you put the shield around you first and you can't start shooting yet and it like makes you stop and then you get hit. I might die here. There we go. Damn it. And then you lose it. Okay, so I need to stop. Ugh. I think he's gonna beat me. Yeah, I'm trying to use the acid shots, but I don't have the chance to use it. He keeps knocking me out of it. Up, oh, see, now it's all gone. Damn it. 
Ugh. We're gonna we're gonna have to redo the level. I can already tell. I think he's only down to half health. <sighs> Whoops! I didn't mean to change that. This is a mess. I didn't think I was going to get confused with the Mega Man game. Ugh. Yeah, we're dead. When he's huge, he's invincible. I don't even... Well, I don't think I've comprehended that. Oh, I didn't mean to... Whatever, just... Did we beat him? <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I didn't even mean to switch to that weapon, but thank God he wasn't strong against it. I know some some special weapons, the enemy boss will just be invincible to it. So that was a freaking miracle that that just happened right now. Ooh. I don't know what it is, but I keep mixing up the... Uh, the, pa the gear triggers and the swap triggers. Oh, this is a dash. That's pretty cool. I actually really like this. The fact that you can dash, this just changes everything. Now you do a super dash. This already, I can already tell, is gonna make platforming a lot better. You said you said there was like a super thing you could do, right? Or, or did you just mean the power version? Wasn't there like a super duper thing you could do with the? I'm guessing it's just that. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's save. Yeah. Look, we have no data. <laughs> We definitely want to save. Oh wow, we did uh, two bosses in less time than the first boss took, so that's good. We're definitely making up time in that regard. Um, yeah, let's go to the store. Man, I've made a breakthrough. I can now create new items for you. Okay, Mega, what'll it be? What do you mean new items? These are all the items we always have. Halves all damage taken during the stage where you use this item. Oh yeah, we don't want to... Those are like... I would call those cheating items. The ones that last, Yo, like, temporarily. Some parts? Less likely to slip on icy surfaces. Energy balancer. Oh, we have a lot of money, too. Auto charges the Mega Buster. That seems like it'd be confusing. I always have my, uh... Mega Buster charging. Increases the Mega Buster's energy output. That's would be that would be good. Yeah, let's get energy balancer, because that's definitely just it's so cheap too. This is what you want, buddy? Yep. And there you have it. Part complete. Thank you. Negates recoil when firing high power mega buster shot. Oh, that's the upgrade that you talked about. Yeah, let's probably not get that. Wait, reduces your energy gauge, but makes the ace in the whole double gear technique available immediately. Huh. Whoops. Ah, Mega Man. Okay, Mega. What are we? Mega. Can I interest you in some parts? Tank container. Oh, wow, that's different. Buddy, mystery chip. Special bonus when you complete a stage in a short time. That's very vague. Cooling system. Uh, faster gear charge. Um... Okay, Mega. What it well, be? first of all, let's get a couple E-Tanks just Are in case. Sure? Already. Are you sure? Already. Um... Buster Plus sounds like it'd be pretty good. It literally just makes your Buster stronger. Yeah, this is like Mega Man 8 stuff where there's like proper upgrades. What's next to the energy balancer? Uh... Okay, Mega. What'll it be? Which one was 
Oh, an energy band balancer Neo recharges all weapon gauges when you pick up a weapon capsule. Oh, yeah, that's even better. Yeah, it says new right over it. Um. I guess the cooling thing would be convenient. I'll get that. And then I'll save the rest for just in case we, uh... Find lives would be a waste because we're at zero lives anyways. Okay, so next up... Who did we just fight? Acid? No, we fought Impact Man. So now we are to fight... Uh... <laughs> um... Oh, Bounce Man, gotcha. Yeah, the, the thing I had tells you what the weapon they're weak against, but I don't always know what weapon I just got, because I don't pay attention very well. Or I don't retain information very well. Oh, he really is bouncy. Or like jiggly even. So first of all, uh, we want to game over so we can recharge our lives. So, what's the best way to game over here? There isn't one because there's no pit. Oh boy, come on. Come on. Okay, now we'll start off with our, our lives. Bounce Man is something else. Yeah, that that's actually a good point. How is Bounce Man jiggly when he's a robot? How do you make a robot jiggly? This is some advanced technology. Hey Brett, what's up? Thanks for stopping in. Game looks great, but it's just to me that I feel Mega Man truly belongs in 8-bit. I'm... well... Classic Mega Man is definitely my favorite, but I think they did a pretty great job with this game so far from what I've played. It feels just like Classic Mega Man. There's little things that are slightly different, like... Once in a while like this, like the animation for going down, it takes you a little bit longer than the original would. Um, and then the other thing is the... No, that's pretty much it. That's the biggest thing. The jumping and shooting feel spot on. Wait, down? Wait, wait. Oh, that's interesting. That looks like a 2D drawing. That, uh, that floating robot head. Now I wonder if you could get that green box that's underneath the red platform there. Whenever he says can't lose now, that's your audio cue that the double gear is available. Gotcha. When is the double gear available? Is that something you have to like build up over time? You never responded to me. Oh sorry Catherine, what did, uh, I must have missed your... What the heck am I looking at? Oh, okay. Is it gonna launch me? Okay, interesting. A uh, low health is the trigger for it. Ah, okay. Wow, I completely missed that. That's probably important that you know that you can double, you can do the double thing at low health. These enemies. This, this whole level <laughs> is really strange so far. Oh look, it's like a rock climbing uh, place. Yeah. 
Those guys take a lot of damage. Boing. Boing, boing. Oh. Uh, it's an authentic glove world glove. Apparently, oh, there's a one-up over there. And I know exactly how we could get to it, too. I don't know how you would, maybe you could bounce off those or something. Actually, we should try that. Let's see. Nope, those hurt you. I don't know how balloons hurt us. I know they're metal balloons, but they're balloons. Alright, so we have to destroy those then. Wait, can we not destroy those? Oh, you have to use a charge shot. We are missing those things. We need to get those out of the way. I think my shot's just vanishing off the screen because I fall too low. Oh, you know what? I bet you this will work. No? Uh, maybe this will go through it because I know I know we're supposed to use that. There we go. We didn't quite reach it, but now they're out of the way. Uh, if you mash Spring Man and Mega Man 7 and Clan Man and Mega Man 8 stages together. I was kind of thinking that too, actually. Uh, especially like Clown Man. Just like the whole theme of the, the level. Ah, oh, I keep uh, getting too low. We got to do that higher. Uh, some people knocked it for not being as melody driven as classic Mega Man OSTs, but I really enjoy the music in this one. I, I will admit that I do prefer the more melody driven ones, but the music is still good. It reminds me of like Mega Man 8. There we go. That extra one up's gonna definitely be worth it. Uh did Catherine ask the question again? Actually, let me let me check because I'm I'm playing on console, so I can scroll easily. Uh, I don't see the question. Maybe it didn't go through. One thing they didn't explain about the pile driver: if you hit a surface, you'll stick for a second and then bounce back. Use rush coil on the pink block. Rush coil. This is over here, just, just for the enemy to be on. So now the hands are kind of hazards. That, that's one of my favorite things of uh, Wario Land 4. Is that there's these conditions that Wario will go into. Like, he'll get stung by a bee, so his, his cheeks will puff up and he'll float in the air. Or he'll get flattened, so now he he's like really flat and he can float, but he jumps kind of slowly. And the interesting thing about these conditions is that they're not inherently negative or positive. They're just conditions that you're now in. And now there's things you can do that you couldn't do before. But now there's also things you can't do because you're in the condition. And I think that's like a genius way to uh, to develop a platforming game. And I don't know, the, the hands being in your way right there kind of reminded me of that. Of how they, they not only help you, but they can also hinder you. 
Uh, I should probably get that. Oh, it's kind of hard. Eh, whatever. We'll get some more blue stuff later. Plus, we have the upgrade that automatically fills up our stuff, so we should be good. Oh, are we at the boss already? No kidding. Uh, have I ever played Toki Tori 2? Um, I don't think so. Whoops. Um, alright, see ya, Rain. Thanks for stopping by, as always. What am I doing wrong here? Maybe I'm supposed to jump first. There we go. Alright. Come on, Jay, do you see a Wily emblem over that door? You're right. I was a fool. It exploded into a bunch of these guys. Oh! And that. That's the real enemy we gotta get rid of. I'm about to say that boss died pretty quickly. Or mini boss. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. How do I wait? God. I'm so bad with the switch controller. I just hit all kinds of buttons that I don't mean to hit. Alright, that, that went well. This seems like it would have been an easier level to start off with, actually. Hold the jump button when the glove hits you, yeah. I did figure it out eventually. You can unbind one of the sets of triggers slash bumpers if you need to. I almost feel like I need to swap them, because for some reason I I just inherently think that they're both the opposite of what they are. It might be because the GameCube triggers resemble the Z L the Z L and R buttons more. And those are the ones that you would swap with on GameCube. Uh oh. Uh whoops. Or I don't know. But that is the one you swap with, so I don't know what, what my brain is thinking exactly then. Oh! I should have paid attention to that. It was a trap and I fell right into it. Uh, love the look of those little pit blocker dudes. Yeah. The the bosses are the bosses. The uh, enemies in this level seem to be like especially cartoony. And they almost look like flash like drawings. <laughs> like in a good way. Sometimes people say that in a negative way because flash can look like lower budget, but flash can look really good. I mean, uh, Adam Phillips, uh, this animator who's who uh, worked in Flash for a long, long time. He's a great example of some really good stuff you could do in Flash. He did this thing called the Bidey of Brackenwood series. And just Brackenwood in general, he has like this whole like fantasy world he invented. Um, really cool guy. I got to like chat with him a little bit. I could really use that help over there, but I'm not gonna get it in my, wait. That wasn't the slowdown button. That wasn't the slowdown button at all. Okay. I need to... I need to calm down. Hit that. Get over here. That's what I need. That's exactly what I needed. Can we get another one? Uh, 
Uh, Behemoth owns a large part of their identity in their Flash-esque art. Yeah, for sure. It makes sense, you know, since most, if not all, of their games have been done in Flash. And then Tom Fulp is, is uh, doing Nightmare Cops in Flash. Who, for those of you who don't know, was the programmer for all the Behemoth games up until Pit People, I think. And he's also the uh, owner of Newgrounds. Oh boy. Okay. All right, there we go. Probably could have kept grinding, but... Be, be, oh, I already read that. <laughs> I already read that comment. I'd buy that for a dollar. Fun fact, did you know uh, Newgrounds was originally known as Neo Grounds? I believe Neo Grounds. And it was originally a fan magazine, maybe an online fan magazine for the Neo Geo. Because Tom was a really huge Neo Geo fan back in the day. So that's how Newgrounds started. He made it like in school, like he just made his own website called Neo Grounds. And then it eventually evolved to becoming a Flash website. Back when Flash was like, Flash wasn't even originally meant for animation when it first came out. The people just started adapting it to that, for that purpose. And it's been around for a long time too. I think Newgrounds was founded in like 1995, which is pretty insane. Newgrounds is older than Google. Think about that. Oh. They were nice enough not to put a bunch of spikes on this part. Oh, E-Tank, we want that. We definitely want that. So let's go on back. You never pass up the opportunity to get a safe E-Tank. That's just foolish. Hey, Kirill, what's up? Yo, these balloons are from another Mega Man game. It seems like it, don't it? Whoops. I just realized you don't have to press left and right for this part. You can just... There we go. Wait, wait, there we go. Hey, we did it. Uh, Google the company or the browser? Just the everything, just Google the company and the browser. From what I uh, recall. Mega Man 6, Nightman. Oh, I like Nightman. Night Nightman's cool. Whoops. I need to stop looking over at the chat when I'm not. <sighs> Imagine how many times I would have died by now if there was a spike pit right underneath. It's because I keep letting go of the jump button. I should just hold on to it no matter what. Wait, no, I shouldn't because then that happens. I don't know what I'm talking about. There we go. Oh! That last balloon. We got up there the first time, but like now that we got the E-Tank and we're ready to go, that's when it's a problem. Oh! Makes sense this would be the stage with the least spikes considering pointy objects are Bounce Man's weakness. Yeah, true. All right, this time. What's happening? What have I become? What? 
what have I become? I call myself a Mega Man player? There we go. Okay, so no Wily symbol, so we're still not at the boss yet. Another mini boss, good thing we got health for that. Oh, it's another one of these. Oh god, now the floor is bouncy, so we can't slide under him. That's interesting. Now we have to change up our strategy. I'm glad his tongue doesn't hurt you when you jump over, that'd be annoying. There we go. Those speed gears are so helpful. Alright. Okay, we'd better pay attention to this before we just go... Seems simple enough, I think you just... Wait... Let's look at it first. Yeah, looks like we just use it. I feel like it's gonna knock me into the pit and I'm gonna die. I don't know why. Okay, good. That didn't happen. I'm glad. You can probably guess what happens if you hit this mini boss with the pile driver. Which one's the pile driver again? Oh, what the heck was that? Was that like... It looked like it was an E-Tank for a second, but then it wasn't an E-Tank. Or maybe we did get an E-Tank. No, we bought two and we had one. That was weird. The pointy dash. Oh, does it kill him in one hit? Ooh, this background's pretty cool. Look at that. It's almost like an artificial planet or something. I knew you were gonna come out. You can't fool me. It's so weird to name a dash pile driver. That's like, that's not what a pile driver is in any sense of the word. Is there a point to being over here? I feel like there's an E-Tank to the left if I, like, pile drive over to it, or something. We have three lives, screw it, let's go for it. Ah, oh, We had to use the super one, I think. Whoops. It just pops the frog immediately, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, the frog is a balloon, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. And that's why... Can you pop up? Dude, I know you're waiting to pop up. There you go. You don't gotta be shy on account of me. Uh, driving piles is like spiking. I suppose. Maybe. Possibly. Uh... uh. I should just start pausing this, and then we want this. There we go. And now we'll have to do it to get back. There we go. All right. Hopefully that comes in handy. Oh, that's in the way of that thing now. We'll have to... Oh no, we could destroy it right here. There we go. Um, when Google the company was founded. Uh, I believe so. Uh, 
Oh boy. There we go. Here we go again. Alright, I can see what's going on here. We want to drop down. And then go up. It's funny how early on the first time we encounter that was, and then they introduce it like this late into the level, or this far into the level. Oh, there's nothing down here. I went the wrong way. This was like the punishment you had to go through to get back up. There was like that weird glowy thing again, but it wasn't an E-Tank. Oh! Ah, that time I waited for you. Oh! That's rough. I think we still have like two lives though, so we should be okay. Oh! How the heck did that happen? Scared the crap out of me, almost died. Careful. How the hell did that happen? Okay, we need to kill this guy. As soon as he appears, wait for him. Boom, boom. Oh, I forgot about the second one. Thank God we got knocked back to the balloons. That would have sucked. My hands are getting a little sweaty. Okay, now I see why you would want to go down first to get rid of the excess balloons. So there is a reason to come down here. And I guess I just missed some of them. Still that one there. We gotta look out for the green. Pretty far to the right. Ouch. Got a big old blowy thing again. Alright, come on. Okay, cool. 
tiny bit of health to the right there, but worth getting, probably. Oh god. Knees weak. Mom's spaghetti. It's the Christmas season already. All right, boss time. Here we go. So his weakness is the this, I think, because we just got it. So, well, we have uh, one extra life, I think. So we'll probably go into a neutral first to see what he's all about. Then we will go in with the actual weakness. It's weird that like dirt comes up from the ground when we run. Mega Man must have really dirty boots. Okay. Sure, buddy. A body has been discovered. Whoops, I didn't mean to summon you. That would be funny if Rush Coil worked against him since he, he's he's all about bouncing. Oh god. Oh god, I forgot the buttons for things. What the? I like slid in place, did you see that? Alright, it's okay. Now we just gotta make sure to beat him this time. Um, whoops. With the weakness. Maybe. I bet you can't bounce like this. I bet I could stab you through the heart. Oh my god. Um. Uh, stuff happened. And then we want to hit the head specifically, it looks like. Maybe. Oh, we're out. Okay. Um, Bounce Man is most certainly the easiest boss. Uh, maybe. I don't know, if I didn't have the power, I don't know if I would have beat him. Okay, cool. We did do it, though. Now, did we use an E-Tank? No, we didn't have to use an E-Tank, so that's definitely... That's a bonus. Alright. So I think we're going to do one more Robot Master for tonight. You got really close on your first try, only had like four pips left. I guess that's true. Maybe if I utilize the uh, power gear a little better. Whoa, okay. Squeaky. And then, and then the power mode. Whoa, you shoot a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a little bit easy to hit the uh, next boss with their weakness. Oh wait, there's an upward attack and a downward attack. It's always cool when you can actually aim your weapon in a direction. Cool. No weapon changes with the power gear. Hmm. Wait, what? Doctor, is something wrong? The double gear system. It was so very long ago. It was on that day. Wiley Dude, we got a little story. Out. He quite literally threw a wrench in our gears. We were students then, each pursuing robotics research in our Wiley own way. was way better than each me. He had really good ideas. Forging the way ahead. To a future where humans and robots might live together in harmony. By giving robots independent. Wait, why would 
robots and humans living together in harmony even be an issue? Last. Like, Naive as always. Y the humans made the robots. robots. That think for themselves will never be anything more than tools. But with unstoppable power, insurmountable speed. It's only when we build robots with the power Young to Wily will humans. haunt my nightmares. He shouldn't exist. He's supposed to have a big mustache and a weird haircut. With my double gear system, he looks like a Pokemon a reality. trainer or something. With this installed, any or like a Pokemon professor. A hero. However, I was strongly opposed to Wily's ideas and research. I was too scared of his genius. System. It puts an incredible strain on the robots that use it. That's why I put it, it in you, Mega Man. Hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. At the time, <laughs> Professor the Woke was convened, and Wiley's research was canceled. <gasps> Wiley got canceled. Did they spell canceled right? Wiley I thought I saw a me. incorrect and amount of L's. Have grown ever more extreme since then. How ironic that my efforts to quench Wiley's hot-headedness before it led him astray. Wiley was very thirsty, you see. Fire. Dr. Wowie. Doctor, yeah, that's the Mega Man 8 version. <laughs> if only I'd well, we have to stop Dr. Wowie, Mega Man. Telling him that he was wrong. Well, Dr. Light just has like Maybe the silliest accent. A way to work together. All the voice acting in a... Eight is like really strange. Doctor Riley actually is the one that sounds the most like proper. appropriate in eight. But using it properly requires proper judgment. I don't think Wiley's Wiley finished college. Developing technology to make any robot into a hero. Could then you'll be obsolete, Mega Man. By you, I'm trusting you, Mega Man. All the oh, stuff he's telling I Mega Man just seems like very important. like passive aggressive. Just finished giving Rush a good tune-up. He's all ready to head out with. Does him. he have jet now? Rush. Rush, help Mega Man. I invented this safe. thing called Rush Be Jet. But Wily, wow. I've had that since like the we second got game. This, Rush. Okay, let's go. Did I say Wily? We don't need a rush jet, but you know what? Let's just look at it, because it might work a little differently in this one. So rush jet would be this. Yep, it's the same. Good to know. Alright, so you said, uh, Fuse Man? Please, yeah, Fuse Man, gotcha. Alright, here we go, one last boss for the day. Oh yeah, he looks like a flux capacitor. I mean a fuse. Whoa, this stage looks pretty sick. Those guys. Alright, well first of all, we're gonna do what we always do. We're going to die on purpose. Maybe the next screen has a pit. Nope, no pits. Just a bunch of these guys. Just a bunch of plugs. Oh no, this is too powerful, Dr. Light. What do I do? He looks like Toronto, man. <laughs> uh, fuse because rubber is an insulator. Hey, that's right. These powers have been making pretty good sense so far. Some of the Mega Man games, it's just a complete crapshoot. It's like, oh, trash defeats. Uh, lasers or like something like that. I don't have them all memorized. The bat is a classic enemy. The obligatory laser stage. Oh no, is it gonna have the uh, the insta kill lasers? Those are terrifying. Oh, these ones are invincible.
Take another E tank, Dr. Wily. Ouch. No Insico lasers, I don't think, but they have you do tricky platforming around them. Yeah. You could say that again. Oh. Okay. Well, this seems pretty straightforward. Of course, this is just introducing us to what's to come. Where did you come from? Uh, my friends call me... <laughs> I can't say that because it sounds like something else. Unless it's pronounced differently than I think. I'm so glad you could slide in this game. I missed the slide in Mega Man 9 and 10. That was like the one thing I really wish they they uh, still had. Even over the Charge Blast, which is obviously also really good. Oh god. Okay. Um, oh. Uh, this is terrifying. Oh, okay. I guess I was just supposed to do the timing and not... I was supposed to commit to my slide. Uh, what if we just... One more. There we go. Yeah, let's try not to have the D, the, the YouTube uh, team attack my channel. Oh god. Oh god. This is weird. Wait. Should I use an E tank? I know we didn't, I know there's no checkpoint before this probably. Uh, we have a couple lines. Uh, screw it. Hopefully we won't need that later. Oh, his sunglasses is the weak point. Interesting. Also, I need to remember that we have this. Okay, he's targeting me directly. Oh, there he goes. His sunglasses broke, which was the direct link to him exploding. If you got him, use him. Yep. Oh. Oh, I should have known that. I keep thinking I could kill those, but, uh... Interesting. There we go. Just have to be fast. Sometimes you just gotta use your speed. Whoops. Sometimes you gotta use your speed. I don't know why they came here tonight. I got the feeling that something ain't right. 
Please. Please. No. You bad. No. Go away, bad. Go. Mm. You bad. Make me angry, bat. One, two, three, four. One. Oh, thought I. Oh, I could slow down time. <laughs> Wrong button. Oh wait, this is a safe spot. I thought you were gonna have to like jump in time with it. So I guess you could do, but I just don't have to do it. Hey, why don't one of you guys drop some health? There we go, that's a good start. I'm gonna back up so you can respawn. There we go. This is the pro Mega Man strat. Find a good spot of respawning enemies. I, I think they're literally put here for this purpose. Because this isn't a particularly challenging hallway compared to like everything else. It's just a bunch of enemies you can shoot and potentially get health or weapon. Okay, I'm gonna hope for one more. One more, and then we'll we'll move on. They keep giving me everything but health. There we go. That's fine. I'll just move on now. Oh. Uh... Oh God. He'll drop immediately if he gets the chance. Okay, now what are they gonna do with him? Oh, nothing yet. Oh, okay. That spot's not safe. Oh, boy. Oh god, that's why it's not safe. You really have to check every single area and make sure what's safe or not. Okay. Ooh. Uh. Let's see, we have two lives. Three tanks. I mean, it's worth getting. You, it's a riskier one, but it's there. And they don't start blasting on that ground level at all. So once we get down there, we're good. Oh, that hurts. Ouch. Well, at this point, we'll just use it. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting that spot hurts you. It's kind of subtle. Or maybe it's just subtle to me. Oh, God. Okay, you just want to start jumping at a certain point. 
There we go. Oh, the boss door. Wow, that's the room before the boss door. Usually they're they're not that dangerous. All right, boss time. So we have two lives to mess around round with. Uh, we'll just use one probably, and then we'll use our second at full health to uh, actually try to beat him. Whoa, this guy's like a Dragon Ball Z character or something. He sounds kind of like, uh, like Vegeta's original voice too. Original English voice. Kakarot. Before he, his voice deepened dramatically. Oh, poor. Wow, that part is intense. All right. Well, whoops. I'm glad that we got bouncy balls for this guy because he is all over the place. And I might just use power for this one. Although we can point at him. Definitely point at him. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get off! <laughs> Literally just... This is just bullet hell of a weapon. It's amazing. Cool, we didn't have to use any E-tanks. Well, the two we had, anyways. Spaghettios come to me. Alright, we, we've been doing... Considerably better than that very first one. I think we had to warm up a bit. Obviously I still get a little chaotic when it comes to swapping stuff, but we're doing it. Wow. That's a pretty sick weapon. And he can shoot up! Mega Man can just shoot up! It's so rare when you can just shoot up. That's pretty cool. This is basically like bubble lead or the snake weapon, except like way better. That's really awesome. And then the power version does huge versions. Cool. Apparently Fuse Man's voice actor is Shishka Bug. Really? From Bug Snacks, that's that's random. Alright, cool. Well we we hit our goal for today. It didn't take too long. We did under three hours, which is cool. Um yeah, I've been enjoying this game. Uh, it's been harder. You had a Fak kind of predicted this. I think Fak was saying, let's see how Jay handles the extra mechanics. And uh yeah, that it has actually been a bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. It's one of those things where I tend to be pretty good with games that are difficult but simple when there's only like a few buttons to worry about. That's why I like NES games so much and even like Super Nintendo games because they're it's very simple to pick up but difficult to master. And that's like kind of like how classic Mega Man is. Uh, but they added a couple mechanics here and when there's a certain point when there's a certain number of mechanics in a game that I, my brain just gets overwhelmed and I'll just forget something exists so I'll never use it or I'll try to use it and I'll hit it, the wrong button. So we are seeing a little bit of that here but we're, we've been able to pull through so far. We're beating the bosses. Um, yeah, it's going good. Thanks everyone for coming. I'm really glad that uh, the people that showed up uh, on yesterday's Mega Man stream showed up again today. That's really cool. So, you know, Catherine, Monica, thank you for showing up. Um, and then all the regulars, you know, Fak and Arain and all that. You guys are all cool. Thanks for joining. We will continue this and hopefully beat this next time I stream, which might be tomorrow, might be the next day. And... 
yeah, until then, I'll see you all next time. You have a great night. Peace out.